keep calm and carry on is what the UK government apparently wants from MPs and civil servants. Whatever the reality, the picture emerging is one of the British government wanting to appear in control, yet coming across as desperate as it lashes out against anyone who questions Brexit challenges. The union representing senior civil servants in the UK, the FDA, had claimed civil servants who dared question the difficulties posed by Brexit were accused of being unpatriotic. And in his resignation letter, Sir Ivan Rogers urged his staff and successor to question ill-founded arguments and muddled thinking. Top politicians are also expressing the fear that Whitehall does not have the skill set to deliver a really hard-nosed negotiation. Meanwhile, a former member of the UK's coalition government has claimed civil servants at the Foreign Office are in despair about the Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson's approach to Brexit. Lord Wallace of Saltaire is quoted in The Independent as saying Whitehall officials have complained about Mr Johnson alienating other EU foreign ministers and failing to keep up with briefs or provide guidance. Boris Johnson and the Brexit Secretary David Davis are expected to contribute to the Prime Minister's speech later in January. It's predicted to address Britain's access to the European single market and a new immigration system for EU citizens. Theresa May is to restate that control of borders will be a red line for the government, inevitably making economic access and the single market a lower priority. And Britain does not seem to be the only side in disarray. The European Parliament's outgoing president, Martin Schulz, claims the EU has failed to move on from the cataclysmic Brexit vote and is hamstrung by the failure of national leaders to sell the European vision back home. He says Brussels is treading water because national governments lack the political courage in the face of the populist right. The shift in the national leaders' attitudes to the EU, he added, was threatening to undermine its stability. Article 50 is expected to be triggered in March. But if a week is a long time in politics, two months appears to be an eternity in Brexit. The die has been cast, but at present it seems to be rolling in all directions.